here and welcome back to gaming blockbuster well it is one more guide video well in last video i have explained you the pet system now obviously in this video i will explain the attendant system so basically a pets and attendant are two of the support type that you will need in this game so having this two strong is very helpful in this game so exactly you know what you have to do as you can see there is a red subscribe button hit that red button and click the bell icon too so you will never miss an update from me and that is very important to continue this video so without wasting any mother fucking time let's get into the video directly first as you can see i have this uh, this attendant summoned here uh, this perox so i will first start with the attendants so as you can see attendants need uh, different types of gears like you do first is their main weapon then helmet then we have earrings pauldron armor obviously impure ring and unsold mask uh, mask everything like that so all this thing uh, gives your attendant the increase in power so when you just take off your power will get reduced and when again you grant them those particular item their power increases just like that so that is that for the gears of the attendants then the attendants also have lifespan just like pets now then we will uh, look at this attributes of the different attendants attack quality hp quality defense quality like pets then these are the other basic attributes there there are now this attack quality hp quality defense quality how you can improve them i will show you first you will need this thing maturity pill you feed uh, let's see five i feel 10 of this Now you see all the attack quality, HP quality, defense quality got improved. So this is how you are gonna improve your pet's attack, defense and HP quality. Then we come to attendant skill. As you can see the more refined there is the more skill slot it will open. Now how you are supposed to get this uh, skill box. Obviously it's just same as the pets you have to release one attendant. And you will get one of the skill here uh, where is it here as you can see i will grant it in the empty skill shop you can see i have opened the defense break skill here then i will feed him some more of the maturity pills so as you can see my defense quality is 30 uh, HP quality 22, attack quality 23. So this is how you're gonna do it. And attendants also level up pretty much the you know same way. You can give your attendants those pills just like pets. Let's say we feed him this. Intelligence pill. level up as you can see my attendant is now level 30 so this is how you level up just same as pets so attendant and pets have a lot and lot of things in common so it's much easier when you understand the pet concept code attendant isn't any big deal so this is about the attendant gear and stat system how you supposed to do with this stuff and now i will say how you can recruit different types of attendants first you just go to collect world option then you can see attendant now here you can see you can just bring different types of these attendant in your home when you have different and particular structure you know they need a good place to rest their bum 
so that's why you will need different types of furnitures in your house to replace this attendant also some food because nobody works without a pay right and other stuff like ink black stone purple stone etc etc so we uh, first talk about urslan so uh, for this you gonna need bone tub 10 fruity grilled meat and 2000 ink black stone when you have a bone tub this guy will come and dip his butt in that tub then you give him 10 fruity grilled meat and then you give pay him 2000 ink black stone and voila he is yours now how you gonna get this furniture stuff wait um you can come to household wooden tub what the fuck is the bone tub the fuck is not here bone top jade pond partial lid bath mm. then i guess it's in the home shop let's just make a check there where i can find this fucking furnitures ink black shop so as you can see there are different yes he there is here you have this motherfucker the plans for bone tub you just buy this shit now you got the plans for bone tub now what you just have to do is you have to just climb the fucking stairs then go to the fucking workshop obviously now look for the motherfucker here we have so these are the stuff that we gonna need for making the bone tub so when you place this furniture this ursalan guy will come and sit in that so you give him his food and payment and then you can use uh, recruit that attendant now except uh, uh, except these ways there are other ways for recruiting attendant that i will show you first we will just teleport to uh, main city so here we go we are teleporting fast come on and now we will be sky diving <laughs> So over here we are skydiving we are skydiving champions So almost there almost there mother fucking landing Oh I have the uh, oh fuck I just crashed shit Come on come on get up Yeah that's my boy Okay now I have to look for the NPCs Let's see. Are you one of those fucking NPCs? Yes, you are an fucking NPC. So as you can see, we have talk, auction, and recruit. You can click recruit. Then you have to offer him ten wormy soup portion and two hundred ink black stone to recruit this guy. Now there are more of these guys and everyone has a different recruitment the harder the demands the stronger the attendance that's how it is so yeah we are fucking running fast fast faster motherfucker faster we are fast as fuck we are fast as fuck boy now i think we are slow as fuck anyway so see we are almost there So you see this guy, Gio Akui. So you can exchange ink black stone, could cost thirty copper, and you can also recruit this guy. For this, you need ten fish ball soup potion and one thousand ink black stone. Like this, uh, there are several of these NPCs whom you can recruit. 
and there are certain ones that you cannot recruit as you can see you can recruit this one too and it has the same requirement as the previous one so uh, this is not the only place from where you can recruit these attendants there are many of these villages like stuff in every tribe uh, there are these npcs whom you can recruit in your crew and get fucking strong and that's all that's all in attendant these are the ways you can recruit these motherfuckers now let's see uh, in the world info you can get the location of different attendants too in this world info portion you have to go to collect then attendant let's say we want this guy this motherfucker this motherfucking shark so we have to go to marines village and there we can recruit it with 10 apple slushies and 200 fire stones so for this motherfucker you need the fire stones so in case you guys are totally new and you don't know what this ink black stone fire stone purple stone etc etc all this currency are so i will just give you a short explanation explanation in this currency too because i just need to extend this motherfucking video anyway and i am not going to make another video for all the different currency explanation because that will be super lame so as you can see i just go to wallet so first we have the basic currency amber which you have to buy with money real cash then we have ruby you can get this by selling stuff selling rare and epic stuff in auction uh, then we have sages now in sages there are several ways from totem trials hunting trials team quests clan quests scenic spots perks quest exchange amber to jade this amber thing can be ex exchanged in sages and also all the quests there are that i will show you later in these videos now then we have the cowries so it ha it is one of the most important currency here for almost every exchanges so you can get it from different quests newbie resource packs full of vitality then hunting trial daily activities team quest etc and you can also make this stuff in your home using the coin maker you know there is a thing called the coin maker you can make this thing in your house only you can mint your own fucking coins then we come to coins this is firestone so it, you can get it from hunting totems you can get it from bounty quest and you can get it from loot in effect as you know there's go to humanoid village and complete the troublemaker challenge there's a go button and all so you can just check that out then we have the purple stone so it has the same stuff how you are going to get this purple stone and ink black stone you get this from battle totems and hunting totems bounting quest and looting then we have the clan contributions as you can see donation clan quest clan guardian so from here you get the clan contribution to be used in the clan shops so this is this currency then we have the pendant so you get it from team quest hunting trial for when you do the home protection from the celestial orb in your house then you get it from beast hunt and also when you just give your friends a high level bouquet from there also you get this pendant then we have the signal essence so you can get it from giant beast map you there is the giant beast map uh, challenge you get different types of maps in your house so you put those maps and you complete them from there you get the signal essence so there when you smell the signals you know there is the signal uh, that you use so you when you smell them from there also you get signal essence and also from home protection so these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 currencies of this game. Now you see this perk in the top corner. Here as you can see uh, these are the four most easiest ways of ga getting Jade. You just go and like the official Facebook page. 100 sage or join the discord 100 sage and then we come to the quest this is the important thing as you see the lumberer from here you can get a lot of sages just by uh, cutting a lot of logs mining uh, mining master same thing breaking stones 
professional gatherer yeah the cutting those orchids you can see all the sages there is pelt hunter killing animal getting hide now these are the explorer stuff you have to just complete a lot of totem trials from here you can get quarries and sage and also one silver key then later on you can get gold keys for opening those chest in the wild beast hunter this is about killing grand beasts then you have to level up for this one the, from here you get the purple stone as you can see so level 55 and all uh, then we have the builder upgrading homes upgrading home level to get builder sky traveler is just about equipping various it's all about equipping various types of gears different types of gears so this particular one gives the highest amount of sages as you can see here then we have the world traveler this gives you titles and you know a little decorations so it's all there so these are the ways you can get all this stuff so i've explained the currency and the attendant these two particular things here so i hope this uh, video was very helpful for you and just as you know you can get the attendant stuff and the attendance and all the pet stuff in the shop it's a uh, very easy so there is that about the attendant and currency so i hope you like the video so don't forget to like share and subscribe and also remember the official facebook group link is given in the description also the background link background music link will be provided in the description too as always so i hope you enjoyed this video very much so please share please share this video with your fellow traveler friends so they will also have the same knowledge and you all will have very much fun and also i will get a lot of subscriber views watch time and money obviously which i am currently not getting and maybe it will take me a few more centuries to do that but yeah i will just keep continue making more videos and i hope you guys will keep watching my videos and providing me love and support so i will see you later in the next video wala